Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. I hope you all are doing well today. It's been a little bit since I recorded. I kind of took a break over the um, 4th of July holiday just um, trying to enjoy family and taking care of other business. So I'm back at it. I did do some creating. I just didn't do a video because I, I just kind of needed that solitude place, you know, that sometimes you just need to get into the studio and just create without a purpose, so to speak. So the first thing we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some themed ephemera. So this is the Honey Blossom Kit, uh, pieces from the Honey Blossom Kit uh, from, um, from Etsy shop, the book Vandal. So I'm gonna be doing some ephemera. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, just pulled some stuff out. So we've got that and then I also pulled this is a new kit from My Porch Prints, and again, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. I might do a belly band, I might do some hidden paper clips, I'm not exactly sure. So I've pulled some items uh, out of that um, to give that a try. Probably going to do some, pap some hidden paper clips. But I did want to take a moment to show you some things that I was making. Um, and I'm not going to try to pronounce her name or the name of her YouTube channel because I can't say it right, but I'll be sure to link her in the... Um, in the video description um, below. So I created these um, kind of uh, pockets from index cards. Now I didn't finish the back of this just because um, I actually forgot before I turned the camera on. I will be putting something on the back, probably just some coffee dyed paper or something to cover up. It's going to be a pocket so it's not going to show but um, so we'll see what I do to finish those off. But basically what I did is I, I covered the surface with some scraps and then I came in with some ink. Um, I believe it's distress ink, uh, a distress stain. Um, but again, I'll link those supplies in um, the supply list. And then I took some old some scraps and I did some stitching. I really loved this element when I watched her video of just having this kind of these kind of tabby things. Um, I have a few more. Let me grab them so I can show you um, what they look like. So I'll probably make some on camera, but they're just these little bits that I just folded them over and then just stitched just to create some little elements of interest. I really, really liked that in her video. So I made four of these. Got Our focal point is that butterfly. I did the, the black thread behind it. Um, this is just a piece of scrap. I had done some stitching around an entire page for a page in, a, in one of my signatures and I ended up having to cut it off because I used it for something else. So I just kept that and I love it. So um, I made, again, I made four of those. So um, super cool. I will probably do some more of these, but I'm, I'm not going to do them on index cards. The index cards I had to glue two together and they still feel just not of great quality so I'm not sure what I'll create on but I'm gonna do it a little bit different next time but I'll be sure to tape that but you can see all the texture behind and what I did that was different than hers is I did use crackle paint this is from deco art and I they were out of stock for a long time and then they finally were in stock and I think they've changed their formula because now the um, the crackle paint resist resist the color so it doesn't sink into the little cracks and stuff like it used to. I don't know if you can see that. Um, kind of disappointing because it was really hard to kind of get color in those areas so I'm not sure what they did different um, but it's definitely different because I've used it a lot and I've never had it resist um, the mediums or repel water and things like that. And then this is the last one. And I love this one because you can really see the words and stuff behind here. So that was super fun. Next time I might not use the crackle paint just because it was kind of a pain. But um, those are those four. And I actually did um, some little um, snippets or clusters. Um, and I just took a piece, some scraps. And these are mini, mini digitals from uh, Love Junk Journals. So in fact, all three of these pieces are from Love Junk Journals. And then the other parts are scraps. So those will be just able to be glued on a page um, just as a little bit of extra interest. And then here's the second one. And again, same same maker, Love Junk Journals, little scrap of, of um, uh, fabric. And then this is the last one. I love this one. Always be true to yourself. Um, same ephemera from Love Junk Journals and just some scraps. 
And then I also did, um, in preparation for doing some just basic themed ephemera, this is um, a print from My Porch Prints, and I'll try to link it if I can remember. Um, but I just made this kind of, it's going to be a side pocket, so I stitched around it with um, just the straight stitch and the zigzag stitch, and then I'll just be gluing that on, on, um, on three sides, whichever side of the page I decide to put it on. And it, but it's really sturdy because it's basically double this. So this is 60 pound copy, copy paper. <clears throat> so I just double backed it. I just recently switched to 40 pound and I'm really liking it. The 60 pound is more expensive in the store. So um, I ran out and I ended up having to go buy 40 pound because I couldn't find 60 pound and I absolutely love it. So it's just kind of a happy medium between the standard 20 pound copy weight and the, um, the 60 pound. And then this is the very first envelope, uh, um, junk mail envelope project that I did. So it was a little bit rough. It has a little pocket here. I haven't made any ephemera for that pocket yet, um, but I made mine so that it opens completely here on the side. I backed it with some, just some lined paper. And these are, this is just stuff from my scraps, basically. And then a little journaling card, so that can be written on. So that was fun. It was a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Um, the, junk, the junk mail envelopes are really fragile. They're really thin. So I would probably do this a little bit different in the future. Um, and then this one I did um, also, um, and I love how it turned out because this is this is gonna this would be in a signature, and I would stitch it here. But um, a couple of things went wrong. Like I started to stitch along this edge, and then that would have sewn my pocket shut. So I tried to take the stitching out, and um, so it didn't work exactly like I wanted. But I'm definitely gonna give it another try. So I really like this big flap. I think this was. Um, a special envelope it wasn't like a junk journal it's something in my stash but it was not junk so those are just some makes that I've been working on I thought I'd share with you uh, probably be re revisiting that in video so let's go ahead and pull over some of this stuff and decide what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get my cutter out I've got my um, archival ink in vintage photo I love the archival ink because if you decide to use any wet medium it's not going to run uh, I've got my art glitter glue and uh, my fabric tack in case I need it. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my little scrap bin of, um, this is my scrap bin of lace and fabric. So I thought I would have that ready to grab if I need to. And I also have, I did resort my, my scraps because it's just, in order to use the scraps, I need them to be in a way that, that I can actually flip through them and look. So I've got this jar back here just so they don't all fall in, but I've got them divided by scrapbook paper or digitals, um, thicker cardstock, um, copy dyed paper, old book pages, old music pages, scraps. This is all kind of um, special stuff. This is actually, um, I or I bought my girls mother uh, flowers for Mother's Day and they came in this really beautiful like plastic bag. And I just took the bag and cut it up, and I've got tons of these pieces. So I've got some of those specialty pieces in here, some vellum, some rice paper, um, and things like that. So, And then this is heavier cardstock back here. So that works out really well for me. Um, I need to have it be... Um, I need to have it be accessible in a way that, that is going to work for me. So um, again, I just pulled some pieces out. I'm just going to set these big ones aside, because I think we're going to do... Um, a belly band with this. This is a. Um, this is actually. I'm sorry. The, um, some of this is from this. These bits. <laughs> um, did I end up? Yeah. Some of them are from um, the book Vandal Bloss, um, Honey Blossom, and then the others are from My Porch Prince. This is one of the Daisy kits. So we're gonna start with that. And um, let me go ahead and just trim this up having some troubles with my cutter and I'm not sure why it's creating all this these scraggly bits. I've cleaned this this track and I still can't get it to cut right. This is a really old cutter so I don't know if I just need to bite the bullet and and get a new one. I'm not sure but I'm just going to cut this down to a size that that I like. There we go. That was a little bit better. 
And then I do want to measure this really quick because I don't want it to be too long for a page in the journal. I'm trying to go about um, eight inches or so. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is. It's just a little bit uh, under eight inches. Perfect. So before I ink up and all that craziness, I'm going to go ahead and decide what other what elements I want on this belly band. It's going to be pretty basic. I think I would like a piece of lace um, on this edge. And let's just separate this ephemera from the, the cherry blossom or the cherry blossom, honey blossom from the daisy stuff here. Um, this is all honey blossom stuff. Honey blossom. Hopefully I have I don't really have much from this daisy one. Um, oh, there's one. There's one. And I've got some words. And yeah, there we go. This is the stuff I picked for that. So let me set the honey blossom stuff aside. We'll be using that later. I don't know how much we're going to get done today. I'm just going to create and just bring you along for the ride and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, um, just trying to decide what I'd like to add to kind of like this just as it is I want this to be really simple not too complicated um, because this is supposed to just be kind of fun so I'm going to grab some scraps of coffee dyed paper and maybe some script here and we're going to just start uh, assembling this tag I'm going to go ahead and ink around the edges of in fact I'm going to ink around all these edges just um, while I've got this open uh, got my ink opened and I'll speed through this so you don't have to watch the painstaking process here. Okay, so I've got all my edges inked, so we're going to go ahead and start assembling this. I do want to put some lace on it, as I mentioned before, so I'm going to see if I've got a big enough piece just here in my basket. Looks like I do. Just debating because it's going to go, this is going to be the side that's going to go uh, up to the, the fold of the journal, so I think I want to put it over on this side. <clears throat> I don't I want it to overlap quite a bit because I don't want it to interfere with the pocket so let's go ahead and get my fabric tack out <clears throat> I like to just put my piece on and then trim it trim it when I'm done easier and then I just like to turn it over just to make sure everything is nice and straight straightish kind of pull that back out a little bit there we go that's pretty good go ahead and trim this off grabbed a little bit of the paper that time okay so it's but it's bowing a little bit probably just because the lace is um, stretching the paper a little bit but that's okay so we've got our lace and again really going for something simple here so I'm going to go ahead and grab some elements from this bit 
Um, now that's going to be really big. So I think I'm going to trim this down a little. It's okay if it goes over the lace, I think. I think, I think. Um, oh, this is lovely too, though. I really like that to go up here. I'm liking that. So sorry to give me a second. I need to put my hair up. It's getting warm in the studio. It's kind of overcast and dreary today here in the summer in Washington State, uh, which is kind of a bummer because we've had some beautiful weather. So I want to put something behind it though. So I like to do this kind of collagey bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some coffee dyed paper. And that's a little bit bigger than I need. We may only get through the um, this yellow, this yellow ephemera, the daisy ephemera and the honey blossom we're already 18 minutes in and haven't done a whole heck of a lot so we're gonna go ahead and do that love love the layering and then I can put a little piece of lace there too which is which is really cool so little bit of, mu of uh, music page or words here. <clears throat> Go ahead and ink this up really quick. It's really fragile. As you can see, it's already, in fact, I think I'm going to tear that off because it's just going to bust off. Really super fragile paper. This is from a vintage book in my stash. There's nothing like using the original, as I tell you guys. Don't don't treat your stuff so special that you never use it just because it's old. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start gluing on here. Got my art glitter glue here, which I'm gonna use for my paper bits. A little shaky this morning. I haven't eaten anything yet. Didn't sleep very good last night, so <laughs> although it's pretty cool, I get to see an old friend. Um, the sister of my best friend is in town, so I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't seen her in so long. She lives in California, so I'm feeling very, very blessed to be able to see her today. I love that. Okay. You know, I don't think I'm going to use the lace. I don't think it's... Oh, maybe a little bit below it. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I don't want it to be too bulky. I always go super bulky and then it's like... What the heck were you thinking? I'm going to glue this on first just because I want to be able to tell where that lace needs to go. I'm just using the Fabri-Tac because I grabbed it to put the lace down. So it's paper. I could have just used the art glitter glue, but it's okay. Just kind of get that in place. And then I'm just going to really quickly kind of try to tuck that lace underneath here. I'll be able to move, adjust it here and there as I need to. It's hanging over a little bit, but that's okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love the layered stuff. Love it, love it. So what do we want for our sentiment on here? I've got, you can learn a lot for a lot of things from flowers. I did cut it in half because it was too long, but I'm liking that on this piece because it's fairly big. Um, area so we're gonna go ahead and put it on here 
I'm going to go ahead and use my fabric tack just because it is going to touch that lace. And uh, this fabric tack will is really good on anything that's material. So I want this to be kind of centered, which is why I'm bringing it over on the lace a little bit. I hope you guys all had a great 4th of July. I did. Um, it was a little bit of a difficult weekend because my, my dad passed away um, right before the 4th of July um, back in 2011. So kind of hit me hard this year for some reason. And so I was a little bit off. Um, so there we go. There's our first one. And probably what I'll do, I don't know if I've got a little, let me see if I've got a little dangle that we could put on there. If I could find them. Yikes. Let's see if I've got one that will. I'm going to be working on working on dangles here again because I'm running out. Well, this one is lovely, but it's got that uh, pinkish, pinkish tone. So, and that one's purplish. So, I think we're just going to leave this one. I can always add one on later if I want to. So that one is done, and it's the perfect weight for um, a belly, uh, for a, a side pocket um, or a belly band. Oh, we were going to do this as a belly band. So basically what that means is I'm going to glue it on the top, and I'm going to glue it on the bottom, and then I'll make ephemera that can, go, that can slide in underneath it and be like so. So that one is done. So let's see what else do we want to do. I want to make a little paper clip. Um, a double-sided paper clip um, where this will hang over the pages. So we'll have one picture on one side and then on that, wherever you clip it on your journal, on the other side, it will have this image or vice versa. So I need to trim this just a little bit though. It looks like they're, they're not quite even. So let me do that really quick. Awesome, okay. So um, the way this works is you want to get your paper clip. I'm just going to use a, a little one because it's not a very big tag. And before you glue these together, you want to go ahead and stick the paper clip in. And you're going to always put the large size to the back. So, so this is the small loop side and this is the large loop size. Oh, that's not going to work. Hang on. Hang on. It's not what I mean. I haven't done one of these in a while, so forgive me as I figure this out. I don't want to see that. How did I make it so that you didn't have to see that? Hmm, cannot remember. Um, I guess you do see it on one side, which is okay. So we'll, we'll work with that. It's not a big deal. We can disguise this paper clip a little bit by, well actually, if it's if it's connected here, then, um, hmm, I didn't really think this through. I think we're just gonna go ahead and do it like so. And why is this so hard to think about? Hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. It goes, it doesn't go. I'm going to put that, push that up. That's why. I'm going to get a piece of washi tape, guys, just a second. And unfortunately, it's on the other side of the room. just going to put a little bit of, bit of washi tape on it just until I can secure it with the glue. So we're going to go ahead and tape this down there like so. Oh, I don't want that tape there because then the paper clip won't work. Oh my goodness. I've done these before. I, I promise, guys. I promise. How is this going to work though? Yeah, I 
think that's just how it's supposed to go. So let's go ahead and glue this on. Should just have my hot glue out. That would be much easier. I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac just because it's super fast drying or fast securing and all that. This is not going to work though. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Can we just backtrack and start over? Goodness gracious. You think I never did this before? Ugh. <laughs> I feel like a foolish lady this morning. Okay. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. So what happens if we just, maybe we'll just glue that a little bit on the top and call it good. I have to think about that. I'm not sure why that's not registering in my head because I've done it before, but um, it's not really working today. I'm probably missing something pretty elementary though. I'm just gonna glue the top of that really quick and I'll show you what it's gonna do when it's done. I can't show you right now because I wanna make sure this is, gets nice and dry. I'm just gonna wipe some of that glue off. My hands are all sticky, hang on. Well, 30 minutes in, guys. <laughs> I hope you don't mind another longer video. It's okay. So we're just gonna give that a bit of time to dry there. Um, it's going to be fine. It's just not what I had pictured um, because basically what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to open this up and just slide this over a page. Um, probably what I'll do is do an eyelet or something to secure that. Um, and then if I put an eyelet on it, it can have a dangle or something off of it. So that will, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to do that. We'll see. So let's go ahead and work on decorating it. I'm not going to do much to it because it's it's um, beautiful just as it is. So I'm just inking this a little bit more so that none of that white shows from the you know when it's not it's not going to be ever be like precisely cut. This this happens. So there we go. So I like this. Shine your way. So I think we're going to put her on there, oh, that word, and then we're going to put a little bit of lace. Um, I've got this little piece of white, which I think is really pretty. We'll do that. Is that white? Or do we want a little piece of lace? That's too big. Is that white? Yeah, we'll just use that piece. What did I do with it? I just threw it back in my bin. I think I need to eat some breakfast. I think that's my problem this morning. Hungry. Yeah, we'll just use this. It's okay. Just a piece of scrap. I'm going to put that word down here. It's a great way to use your scraps here uh, for a little bit of embellishing uh, and uh, layers here. Which I love layers. Just trim that off really quick. Not completely, but I like some of it sticking out a little bit. I think it adds some interest. Boy, nothing's really working with my body this morning. Okay. There we go. We're going to go ahead and put on our sentiment. Very simple, very simple. So that's one side. And again, when it's dry and we get to open this up, it's just gonna go over a page, um, which is gonna be fine. Not what exactly what I had in mind, but that's okay. And then the other thing, I'm not overthinking what I'm doing here. I just pulled some stuff from my stash, pulled some words, and I'm just gonna use them. So I think I'm, I like this one. It's a little bit too big though, so I'm gonna trim it down. I don't want it to take over that that landscape there, so I'm going to trim it down and I'll re-ink it. Well, 
find a bit of lace to go under it or a little bit of um, book page. Get a piece of lace here. I can find one that seems appropriate here. Kind of covering up all those beautiful daisies, though. It's kind of a shame. I don't think I want to use that because I don't want to cover more of that up. I don't have to because I can use just a bit and just add a little bit of dimension on one side or one corner, like so. So I'm gonna do that. So I decided to kind of do a craft with me using digital kits that I have acquired a lot of them and I think it's a great way for me to start using them by just doing kind of some themed ephemera. So that's what I'm going to do a bit. Probably put that up there. Let those bottom sunflowers peek through. And then that kind of looks weird with words on words, does it? Eh, it's okay. It is okay. Love completely. Just kind of go off the edge there. Okay, so let me get something so I can show you what this is going to look like. Let's just pretend that this is a book page, okay? So basically this is just going to slip on there. It's going to stick up a little bit, so that tells me that it would be good to have some lace or something on the top, but I will come back and do that if I find that it it's fitting uh, for the for the element. So there is project number two. And so let's go ahead and do one more. I think I'd like to do a corner pocket. This is, or maybe a pocket out of this. Um, just a regular pocket that would just go on the bottom of a page and kind of have a, uh, we'll glue it on. I would glue it on three sides, leave the top open so that it can be a tuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a um, pull on this one. same size. I think those are the same size. Silly girl. Huh, interesting. That's not the one I want anyway, but <laughs> okay, so we're just going to do a quick a quick pull here. Some people call these a notch or a, a thumb pull. I don't want it to be too big, just like so just to kind of give it a place so it identifies that it is actually a pocket. So we got that. And then, um, so this would sit on the page this way, so I think some lace along the bottom would be really pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab some from my bigger bin just because I don't really have a scrap in here that's big enough. Let's see what I can find here. This is kind of stretchy and interesting. This is like a stretchy lace, but so it's that's going to be pretty bulky on this project, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I just got this yesterday. Love that. I don't think it fits though. Oh, I know, I know. Where's the other bit of that? So I have this coffee dyed um, eyelet stuff, but that's way too big for this. But I've got some thinner stuff in here. I just need to need to locate it. There it is. I absolutely adore this. I need to buy some more and, and do some more staining, but it's a little crinkly, but I love that. So let's go ahead and put that on the bottom. This is not very thick, um, but that's okay. It will not bulk up my journal, <laughs> whatever journal I end up putting it in. So I haven't completed another journal. I've just been really working on building my stash of ephemera. 
um, getting kind of the juices flowing for what I want to do or what I can do. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and then I'm going to turn it over and see if it's even. Looks pretty darn good. There we go. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and trim that off. So guys, it's it's really simple. It your your embellishments don't have to be, you know, super elaborate. I mean, I think that is just absolutely gorgeous, just like it is. Um, I need to take a drink of water because I'm my stomach is hurting. Because it's empty. It's crying for food. So let's set that lace aside here. I feel like I need something else along that edge. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, I don't want one that's quite that wide because I don't want to take away from that beautiful, oh, that's perfect, because I like that edge there. I like this edge. So let's go ahead and put this down. Um, I'm just going to kind of go here. This is going to create a little bit of bulk, though, but kind of unavoidable, in my opinion. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that layer. That layering look. It's just so fun. Perfect. Okay, so what do we want to put on here? Doesn't look like I have any more words left. Whatever happened with that? Let me grab my ephemera packet. So I'll show you while I got this out how I organize my my ephemera. So I I had already had these like plastic sleeves that I put I keep all my stamps in. So I just purchased some more so that I can actually have these filed away by the maker and by the name of the kit. So I'm gonna just pull this out and see what I can find to add to this out for words. I don't th actually think I have any words in here. I think I've already looked through it now that I'm thinking about it twice. So let me, let me backtrack here. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, that was a sneak peek at what that looks like, but let me grab um, some more words here, just a second. See just what speaks to me. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. I love that. Enjoy the journey. Make today beautiful. That's the one. Go ahead and ink around that. And then I think we're going to be done. We did three uh, bits here in this video. I don't want to keep it too long. So let me go ahead and put this on here. And we're done with this pocket. I kind of like things to be kind of off a little bit. There we go. So there is project number three. Just a simple, uh, simple pocket will be glued on these three sides. The top will be open to be able to stick some ephemera in there in, on a book page. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not liked and subscribed to my, liked, uh, if you wouldn't mind liking the video, uh, if you like what I see, what you see here on my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell that will notify you of when I create a new video. Having a blast in the junk journaling world. Love, love, love it. Really exploring still a lot. Um, it's a new arena for me. So um, I do primarily watercolor and mixed media art, so this is definitely a different a different path. So, but really, really enjoying it. It's very calm and and very uh, peaceful. So, I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye bye.